In this video, we are going to have a look at the sum and product of roots of a quadratic and any other polynomial equation. So we need to understand what this formula is telling us and how to apply it to some common IB maths exam questions. Okay, so if I have a quadratic equation, like I have here, x squared minus 2x minus 8, we know this has two roots. And roots are when this equation, if we were to graph it, and this would look a little bit like this here, where the roots would actually be uh, at negative 2 and 4. We could find that if we factorized it and did the null factor law, or if we graphed it on our calculator. But the sum of the roots is just summing up the two values of our roots of this equation. So that's what the sum of roots means, and the product is just the multiplication of these two roots. So this is, this is a very important topic when we look at uh, some higher order polynomials and also some complex numbers. Okay, so the sum of roots formula says that the sum of the roots of any polynomial will be negative b on a, which is uh, a is the coefficient of our largest power, and b is the coefficient of uh, the, the next term. It's the term with one less in the power here. So it's very important that if x to the power of 7 is our largest power, b is the coefficient of x to the power of 6. It's the one one below it. Now if there's no coefficient to x to the power of 6, if there's no term, the coefficient is actually 0. So we will look in, into that. Okay, so with our quadratic here, if we apply the sum of roots, sum of roots, the equation says it will be negative b, so it'll be negative negative 2 over 1, which will just be 2, which is accurate to our drawing before because our two roots were negative 2 and 4, and if we were to sum these, we would get positive 2. Now the product of our roots, product of roots, the product of roots formula, the answer uh, is z on a, so it's the constant term over the coefficient of our largest term, and it's positive z on a if our polynomial has an even power. So a quadratic, x to the power of 2, x to the power of 4, x to the power of 6, if our largest power is even, it's just z on a, and if it's an odd, for example a cubic function, it's negative z on a. So for ours, it'll be positive, negative 8 on 1, so therefore negative 8. And we knew that would be the answer because negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Okay, so that's, that's how we use the sum and product of roots. Uh, in questions that ask for the sum and product of roots in quadratics, sometimes they're a bit problem solvy where they might actually give you the sum and the product of the roots and you might need to work backwards to find some of these coefficients. So be on the lookout for those. They are very good questions. Now, if you wanted to find the sum of the roots of this polynomial down here, this cubic, the sum of the roots, we would just use negative b on a, so it will be negative, negative 7 over 2, which would just be 7 on 2, and the product of the roots, product of the roots, now this one, the largest power was odd, as it was a cubic function, so we would need to do negative our constant term over our coefficient of x cubed. So it'll be negative, negative 1 over 2, which would be positive a half. Okay, so that's the sum and product of roots. It relates to where our roots are on our curve, be here, here, and here. If we were to sum them all up, we would get uh, the sum of the roots. If we were to multiply them all, it's the product of the roots, and we can use these equations here. Okay, good luck.